And I'm Stuart. This is our film about God's house tower in Southampton. We've made this on the training programme of Arts Black and City Art. We hope you enjoy learning more about this great historic building. In the future, we'd like to reanimate God's House Tower as an arts and heritage venue. Um, so it would host a programme of exhibitions that would be inspired by the building's history and the stories inherent within it. God's House Tower is a 700-year-old scheduled ancient monument located in the southeast corner of the old town walls. It's, uh, it's kind of grown over 700 years, from, originally from a gateway um, and then became an artillery tower, so it was used to defend the Solent from French invaders. It's also been the town's jail uh, and the Museum of Archaeology, so it's had lots of different roles over 700 years. To uh, support the project, we've had to work with a range of project partners um, and look to raise money through grant-based applications. Uh, the, the, the headline grant is from the Heritage Lottery Fund. It's taken about two years, probably a little bit longer, to work through their process, which is very thorough, uh, it's very detailed, and it should be, because we've asked them for a lot of money, and if someone's going to ask me for that amount of money, I'd you know, make sure they had a, a good plan as well. We've got support from the Heritage Lottery Fund, Arts Council, City Council. Collectively, that has raised 2.2 million. We need to get to 2.4 before we can actually begin the project. So at the moment we're working to raise the rest of the money, hopefully finish that this summer, uh, and then we can stick to the timetable of beginning works on site next year. We're planning to develop the building in the most sensitive way possible, and in a way that um, makes the building both really functional in terms of operating it as a commercial building, and operating it as a public building. Um, so physically, the kind of highlights, if you like, to the architectural package would be to um, reinstate the original front door um, on the south side of the building, Town Quay Roadside. And there used to be a, a double width, double height door on the south elevation. So we worked with English Heritage and they've agreed the principles of reinstating an old door. I hope people are comfortable with the changes we're going to make to the building. They've not just made without any consultation or without permission. Um, we've worked with English Heritage and we've consulted with the public throughout the process. I think the physical changes we're going to make to the building will really help people to understand the building's original architecture and its original purpose. For example, the tower, you can't currently tell it's an artillery tower. It's been divided up into floors. So to take those floors out and for people to be able to reinterpret it as it was originally intended I think it's a good thing. I hope the general public agree with that when we've uh, completed the works and they come and have a look round. We are going to add a small extension to God's House Tower. It's the new build element of the project. It's on the north face of the building and it would sit in a patch of land that's currently vacant. The extension is just, just one storey high, so there's, there's very little impact on the building. Uh, and it's a very practical decision to put that in. It helps us move all the services, the toilet, the manager's room, the staff room, outside of what is quite a small footprint downstairs to the building. So by moving them outside, we open up more room inside the original historic fabric for the cafe, the bar, event space. So it's an important part of the build. It's the only piece of the, to the new build part of the project. I'm most looking forward to be able to offer opportunities to artists. Um, all being well, we'll have a commissioning budget, we'll be able to work with a wider range of artists, we'll be able to give more opportunities to local artists to make and sell work. The heritage story here is really important as well, um, and be able to retell the story of the building to the families of the city or people that are visiting the city is really important. Personally, in my heart, is, is, is the visual arts programme. That's what I'm personally excited about. Downstairs, the ground floor would have a kind of mixed use and would be the focus of generating income. So that would be where the cafe and the bar is, uh, a cultural retailing space, an event space for live performances and acts. The ground floor would lead you through to the tower. Uh, and as you come up through the three floors of the tower, that would be the main focus of interpretation. So as you come up, it would take you through time. So at the bottom of the tower you'd begin with the very origins of the building in 1338 and you'd come up through its stories 
until you reach the roof and the views out on Southampton represent today. So there's a kind of journey through time. And then there's two floors of gallery. The mezzanine floor will be uh, a home to works from the collection. So we're going to work with the City Council's designated collection, show key pieces of art or artefacts. So there's lots of paintings that show God's House Tower throughout history. There's lots of architectural plans from when they turned it into a jail that at the moment are sat in the, in the vaults and in the archives. So this is an opportunity to give more people more access to the collection. A Space is an arts organisation that works in Southampton to support uh, emerging artistic careers. So we run studio projects, gallery projects, and lots of things that help yeah, grow the art scene and artists in Southampton. We began working on this project uh, as a natural kind of expansion of the work, our previous work at the Bargate Monument Gallery and at Art Vaults. So those two projects it kind of installed a passion for arts and heritage within the organisation. As we were leaving the Bargate, we began to look around the city for other locations we could develop, and actually locations that were larger, so we could have um, a more of a mixed offer here. So some commercial activities, the cafe, the bar, the events, but with also with a larger exhibition and education programme. So it wasn't so much why now in 2015, it was more about the natural kind of growth of our work. I guess it was why not rather than why. The main gallery space, the larger space, would be where contemporary artists can exhibit works that relate to the works from the collection, so that it kind of creates an overall exhibition. So the opportunities for the artists are kind of scattered through the building, if you like, and downstairs they could sell work in the retail space, they can exhibit work up on the top floor, uh, and then through into the Crawford room, uh, there's kind of mixed use in there, so they're kind of educational use where workshops or small-scale seminars can be run um, and also offer you know, artists and opportunities that have a space to kind of hold talks or events that relate to the exhibitions. But there's quite a few elements of the building. The, the, the tower itself, the ground floor of the tower and up on the roof have been kind of out of bounds to the public from 1960. So actually we're going to open up more of the building, give people more of a chance to explore it. I think the other important thing that plays into that is the lift. So actually there hasn't been um, access, physical access, to the upper floors of the building, well, ever, in 700 years. So from the cafe bar area, so the far end of the building away from the tower, would be a lift that would take the public up to the mezzanine and the first floor gallery spaces. We hope to see God's House Tower actually open to the public um, in the autumn of 2016. Be a kind of a cultural hub we'd like to think for the old town so uh, alongside the exhibitions people would be able to kind of come and learn about the history of the building or you could just come for a cup of coffee in the cafe there'd be an evening events program um, so be kind of live acts and people can come in and have a drink and socialize here so it's a real kind of mixed use arts and heritage venue the headline is it would tell its own story thanks for watching and maybe we'll see you at god's house house sometime soon Bye. Bye now. now.